North Mississippi. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. It's the day after we celebrated our family Christmas, which was done a week early so that all of us could go our respective places on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, and all that. My kids go, my big kids take the little kids, and they go to my son-in-law's side of the family. And I, nine times out of ten, and probably a little bit more than that, spend Christmas Day and much of Christmas Eve at times by myself. Since I am single now, I choose to do that. <laughs> Unless I get an invite to a friend's or something like that, which, you know, it's funny. People like to invite you to Christmas and all of that, you know, because they don't want you to be alone. And it's like, no, I, I like my pajamas and my Hallmark babies and all of that. So, <laughs> I kind of go with the flow. But I like to cuddle up and I like to have Charlie, my dog, with me and just kind of watch movies and do whatever I do. I tell you, last year, I was clo I had closed my shop the last two years. Actually, I closed my shop last year and the year before, I did the same thing. I uh, ran sales leading up to Christmas Day. And I even had people that could pick up on Christmas Day because I was home I could watch my front porch. I did front porch pickups so that people could pick up stocking stuffers or, you know, last minute grandma gifts or, oh no, I forgot Aunt so-and-so gifts. And man, I made a killing on the day before Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day last year. I just started running ads and said, these are last minute gifts. And I tried to pull out all of the new stuff that I had from my estates, boxed things, things like that. I even had a couple of them that I stuck in gift bags for a little bit extra money. And it wasn't a big deal. And they could just pick it up and take it right with them and leave money in a designated area for me. And I may do the same thing this year. You never know. I may not sell a thing. But if the last two years are an indication, I'll sell a lot of stuff. Get rid of a lot of little doodahs. But today it's yucky and overcast and rainy, but it's one of my favorite sourcing days. I love to go on Sundays and Wednesdays. Wednesdays are the half price at two places. Today is half price only at Park Avenue Thrift, so by and large, if I can only go a few places, I usually go to Park Avenue Thrift and get my half price on today. And then I go to the bins and do whatever. I'm in Miss Daisy today because I need heat. <laughs> and then I'll go down and do my little shopping and stuff. I'll show y'all if I find anything. May do a little haul video at the end or whatever depending on what I find. If it's anything stellar or anything that is something that I think maybe you would be interested in. I don't want to bore everybody. I just show you what I do every day and if you watch, that's great. And if you don't, that's okay too. Just pick and choose what you like and pass by the other, I guess. On Wednesdays, I usually go to the two half price ones and then if I can work in a little short trip to the bins, I do. But today I spend a little bit longer at the bins usually because I, I'm not at that second location sourcing. So I'll probably do that today. Normally, I do a trash run today because over the weekend, people clean things out. And on Sunday, for it to go out on Monday, there's usually a lot of stuff. But with it raining today, I'll probably just be looking at metal things. See if there's any metal work and stuff like that that I can pull out for my booth. But other than that, I'm going to just do a quick run through the two little neighborhoods on the way to Park Avenue Thrift. See if I see anything. I'll show you if I do. Going to grab a Polar Pop and see what we can do today. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so before my camera dies, <laughs> oops, sorry. Before my camera dies, I'll let you see some things that I got. You saw the Wizardology game, some of the stuff from PA Thrift. Those are things from another day. I'll do a haul video on that. I went to the bin store and I got a big coffee bag, which is awesome. That'll be nice to cover a couple of chairs with. Got several of the Victoria's Secret bras like I usually get. Found several bandanas. I usually buy things quirky for my dog, but some of this, like the Dale stuff, and things with National Guard on it and things. I'll try and sell it first. And Unicorns always sell. I got a little unicorn puppet. Elvis fanny pack. Some really pretty silk scarves. Those sell even this time of the year on into the first of the year. I wish that was in my size instead of my granddaughter's size. Because <laughs> that would suit me. I think I showed you this. The voodoo. Voodoo one. Game of Thrones. That type of stuff. Found a huge... Let me put my phone down. <laughs> Hold on. Put it somewhere. Let's see. All right. Huge globe with no stand. There's my hand. It's one of the beginner's political globes. I'll probably cut it in half and make two hanging lights out of it. Whoopee cushion to get the kids in trouble with. <laughs> One of the strobe. Um, I forget what brand it is. What brand is it? Omega. Some of these sell for around 12 to 15, even used like that. I usually sell a lot of these purses. At Miss Becky's shop, the retro shop. Lots of hats, Gibson guitar. Just trying to show you real quick before I lose my battery. Ralph. Ralph always sells. This was cool. This is a blanket Native American hat. It's got feeding deer on the side. I thought that was neat. And last but not least, they're all here chest set. It's got all the pieces to it. It's got the little plastic weighted pieces but that's all vintage and it's all there. I got it for 50 cents I think or a dollar. I think it was a dollar. So there you go. Happy junkin' y'all.